Hello. Welcome to this installment of Savvy Saturdays. This is Sia Knight, the College Savvy Coach, and I'm so happy to be back with you once again. And I'm here to share information and timely tips about the college admissions process. So today we're going to talk about the summer and what are you going to do with your child or your children during the summer. I am, if you're like me, I'm struggling with that right now. My children are a little bit younger, but if you have teenagers, you may be thinking, what should I do with my child during the summer? Because you want to make sure that your child or your children are having meaningful experiences. And sometimes what you choose could have implications in the college admissions process. So let's talk about why you should stop and listen before you register your child for a summer activity. I've got three reasons that I want you to be very careful about summer opportunities. Be very careful. Reason number one, I want you to beware of official looking offers that you may get in the mail. They may be uh, wonderful envelopes and they're sealed and they has a raised seal, looks beautiful, the presentation is great, and it's offering you an opportunity for your student to be able to participate in this exclusive summer opportunity where actually the truth is it's not really an exclusive opportunity. It is an opportunity that they market to people based on a purchase list. So. I have dealt with parents who unfortunately felt very special because they had gotten these offers and they look so beautiful and the presentation is nice, but I want you to beware because often those wonderful opportunities and those beautiful envelopes cost money. And so if you are going to kind of feel flattered because you've been invited and you want to shell out a lot of money for the opportunity, make sure that you are doing a lot of research into that particular program. That's number one. Be beware of official looking offers. Number two, I want you to examine your motives for choosing a summer opportunity for your teen. Examine your motives. If you think by paying a lot of money or participating in a very expensive summer activity will help your student get into a particular college, that's probably wrong. It's probably wrong. Uh, university representatives are very, very savvy about the different opportunities that are available and the fact that parents in many cases can kind of pay to play for the honor of participating in those activities. So it's not necessarily a bad thing to do, but if you are spending a lot of money in the hopes that this will get your student the edge in the college admissions process, it may not. So just be aware of that. If you want to participate in an activity and you want your child to get the experience for something, an activity and it just may cost money but you still want your child to do that that's one thing but don't take out a second mortgage on your home so your student can participate in an activity because you think that he or she is going to get an edge in the admissions process because nine times out of ten it's not the case okay so I said to beware of official looking offers number two examine your reasons why you want your student to participate in a particular activity. And the third thing that I want you to look out for when it comes to summer experiences is I want you to, actually this is something not to look out for, I want you to talk with your school representative. So yes, I guess look out for the folks in your school who are in charge of making sure that summer experiences are advertised because these are the folks 
who often can hip you to a lot of the low cost or the no cost opportunities that are available in your school. And really and truly, these are typically the more prestigious offers, the things that you get nominated for, the things that um, representatives come to the school in order to get nominees for. So the third thing that I want you to do is I want you to talk to either, it, it depends on whether or not it's your school counselor, if you have a college counselor at your school, talk to the person who's in charge of summer experiences in order to make sure you can plug into the low cost or the no cost experiences. So that's it for this episode of Savvy Saturday. And I'd like to once again, thank you for joining me. Come see me on seeanight.com or also you can listen to the College Savvy Radio podcast on iTunes, Stitcher, or Zoom. So until next time, let's crack the college code together. This is Sia Knight, the College Savvy Coach. Goodbye. <laughs>